Okay, Juwan, if you just get started and talk a little bit about the progress of the team since the spring and obviously the summer workouts, just kind of open it up and then we'll uh, raise your hand again for questions uh, once Juwan gets finished. Okay, yeah, um, just going from the spring on, uh, we put up a lot of shots, um, did a lot of work on the, in the off offseason, um, just working on our bodies, working on our game, and I think uh, it goes for everybody that everybody's just significantly better than what we finished off at. And I think that's a good thing for us going forward with the momentum into the season. And I think it's uh, important to get that started early. Okay, open it up for questions. <clears throat> Greg? Hey, John. Over here on your left. Good to see you. Um, if you don't mind, just what has Romeo looked like? What kind of player, teammate has he been two or three months into this thing? Um, he's been a great teammate. Um, just not what you uh, – is usually portrayed of a five-star going in, being pretty much like the savior of a team or anything like that. But he's just a real down-to-earth guy. Um, he's always making an extra pass. Um, we all know he can score it, and he shows that ability. But he also is able to see passes and plays before it even happens. And I think that is just something that uh, you build over time. And I think he's really putting in the extra work. As good as he is, he's, getting, he's only getting better. <clears throat> Romeo, through high school, you know, you've come through a lot of pressure situations, but now you come to Indiana as one of the most heralded freshmen since Damon Bailey. How is it coming in here with all that uh, pressure on your shoulders? What do you do to let that go and just play your game? Uh, I really don't feel pressure. I'm just coming here to play basketball and do my job, and uh, that's how I'm focusing on having a successful season with my team this year. Yeah. Next question. Juwan, not just with Romeo, but the, the incoming players as a group, what have been your impressions of them so far and the energy that they brought to the program? I think just first off, their willingness to learn and uh, get better. I think uh, for the previous classes, it kind of was a little timid coming in, didn't want to really ask questions, but they're not afraid to ask questions. And they'll do things wrong, but they'll do it going as hard as they can. And I think that's just a good um, pretty much mentality to have especially uh, on defensive end. If you're just going hard, sometimes just going hard will be the right play to do. Uh, Romeo, we were talking to Coach, and he was just talking about your style of leadership and how you didn't come in here acting like you were going to run the show. You didn't come in here you know, acting like you were the star of everything. Is that kind of your way of leading, leading more by example what you do on the court than you know, acting like you're the big man on campus? Uh, yeah, that's just the way I am. Like on and off court, I'm not the most vocalist, um, most vocal person uh, on the team. But I like to lead by example. And coming in, coming in um, as a freshman, I knew that there was seniors, and um, they know a little bit more than me. Well, they obviously know more than me because of uh, being watching for a year. So really, I'm just coming in here and uh, learning from guys like Jawan, Devontae, and uh, Zach, the upperclassman. Yeah. Jawan, I guess. For Romeo or really any of these freshmen, do you feel any kind of need to talk to him about what it means to be at Indiana, the attention, the focus, uh, obviously kind of just the breadth of, of what Indiana basketball is, or do you feel like that's something that they all kind of figure out themselves? Um, I think it's a little bit of both. I think they all know what, they're, what they got in, themselves into, but at the same time, it doesn't hurt to tell them exactly what there, is expected of them. And I think going forward, <clears throat> um, just saying those things, uh, making it uh, plain and cut, um, just doing those things for them, I think it'll just make everything on the team easier. Jawan, what are some of the things that you learned from the NBA people, and how do you plan to apply those things both this previous offseason and now during the season? Um, the main thing I learned is just uh, not to listen to everything they say and not try to do exactly what they, what they say, but um, still stick to what I've been doing, um, but just – trying to add a few other things to it, and then also changing my body. That was a big thing that uh, each place had told me, and I think I took the steps as far as doing those things correctly. Have you lost uh, A little bit of both, I guess. Uh, lost, some, lost some fat, added some strength, you know, a little bit of both. Uh, you missing the tournament the last couple of years, going through the whole transition. How much do you expect winning the, you know, this season? Uh, I expect a lot. Um, not even just saying... Uh, just trying to be overly confident, but I think the work we put in and just how hard we go at each other in practice, I just can't wait to see how it is when the person across from us isn't wearing the same colors. Gentry. Uh, Romeo, coach said that you had added some weight 
since you've been here, how much of an emphasis was that for you before this first season to, to get a little bigger and stronger for, for what you're going to face? Uh, that was a, a big emphasis for me, um, just knowing playing in the Big Ten, there's big guards, so I got to be ready from the first game to be uh, matched up with them physical, physically-wise. What did you do to try to make that happen? I mean, uh, I just did what Coach Coach Cliff told me to do in the weight room. I, mean, I gained on like, put on a little bit like 15 pounds since I've been here. Romeo, um, this is so different from you, for you being surrounded by guys about as big as you and all, as explosive as you are. Just What is that like for you to, on a daily basis to be with athletes like this as opposed to in high school when you were the biggest, strongest, fastest guy? Uh, at first, it was something to get used, getting used to, um, playing, playing with and playing against guys of my, my talent and my, my height and capabilities. Uh, it was kind of different, but now I'm kind of getting a hang of it, and it's kind of fun to be able to play with guys that can do the same things as I can do. Yeah, Jawan, how much easier is it for you to lead now that you've spent a year with Coach Miller and, and learned, you know, for example, to get across what he wants defensively and whatnot? Oh, I think it's a lot easier um, because last year we were all learning it. Um, there was really he was really the only teacher out there um, and the other coaches. But this year, I think being a player-led team will be a lot easier just because I know the system, I know what he expects, and I can express that to the younger guys in a different way than Coach Archie will. Hey, Juwan, how, how have you challenged your teammates in <laughs> practice, and what's it been like on days when you guys kind of really went at each other and it was kind of like, okay, who's guarding me? Let's go. Um, I just challenge them to be the best they can be every day, and uh, whether I have to do that myself and tell them that they have to guard me personally, or if I just um, am guarding them or and I'm in them the whole practice, then I just think that will – like go from top to bottom, I think it will be a domino effect and everybody would just want to bring it each and every day. Jeff. Romeo, what's it been like just being on campus? I mean, just walking to class every day. I mean, how do people kind of treat you on campus just, you know, being here? And obviously everything, everyone's excited to have you here. How, how have you uh, noticed the way uh, people kind of treat you here? Uh, they treat me like any other. Any other students, not as crazy or hectic as you would think, like being stopped going to class every day. I've probably been stopped maybe like once or twice this whole time since I've been going to class. But uh, I'm enjoying myself on the campus uh, and I'm having a fun uh, experience. For both of you, um, forgive the cliche question, but you're the two that I think a lot of fans are going to be looking at for the most production, the most sort of top-end success this season as a senior, Juwan, as a freshman, Romeo, and how do you deal with that? And, and do you, you know, talk to Romeo about any of that? Um, I would kind of say it's unspoken. I mean, we, we're both coming from a pretty much winning programs as far as high school goes, and then I think we've been, we both dealt with winning before, uh, Romeo at the high school level, me with uh, Yogi freshman year, and I just think uh, walking in that and being able to just be confident without trying to sound too boastful or anything like that, I think that's just a big key. And so I think just going forward, I think just keeping each other's head straight and then keeping everybody else's head level too. Romeo, what's been the biggest adjustment basketball-wise that you've had to make? Uh, you mentioned that, you know, that early on it was different getting used to playing against guys that were more athletic, stronger, but Basketball-wise, what, what's the biggest adjustment you've had to make so far? Uh, biggest adjustments would probably be the speed of the speed of the game and also the terminology like uh, that coaches use um, to like say different cuts, different defense, defense dif different reads and stuff like that. So really just the physicality, uh, speed, and terminology of the game. Joan, how much of a <coughs> missing piece um, has uh, Evan Pitzner been able to, to bring to this team? What do you mean, Mr. I mean, Beast? a good perimeter shooter, maybe oh. a good three-point shooter that you guys didn't have? Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's going to be real uh, good for us this year, um, especially with we didn't really have – we had shooters, but we didn't shoot at efficient and well enough as we could have. And I think uh, Evan being 6'10 and being able to shoot that will open up a lot of opportunity for other players. And I think with that, he'll get even more shots from that. So – I think it'll be good for us. Uh, Romeo, Juwan kind of touched on it, you know, the, the desire to win with this team. But for you, what are your realistic expectations 
maybe prematurely for this season, and what is it exactly that you do want to bring to Indiana with your presence here this year? Uh, my expectation is to win a national championship. Um, I don't go into any season just trying to win a couple games. I go in trying to win the whole entire championship. But um, really, uh, my expectation for um, myself or bringing to the team would just just be whatever, be the best I can be. And I feel like me doing that is going to help the team uh, be successful down the road. Uh, Jawan, what, when it's all said and done, what do you want your IU legacy to look like? Uh, I haven't really thought about that. Um, I just want to be remembered uh, just being a tough kid, uh, being somebody that everybody wants on the team. Uh, you never want to go against. Um, once we get in between those lines, you know exactly what you're going to get from me. And um, just a culture of winning here at IU. Juwan, what is having a guy like Romeo who can handle the ball, shoot from the outside, what kind of elements does he bring to the offense that maybe you didn't have last year? And then, Romeo, maybe what do you, what, what do you feel you can bring to the offense that's different? Um, <clears throat> it's, it opens up a lot. Um, I think just defenses having the key in on all those things that you just mentioned will open up things for, say, Devontae driving and kicking to Evan for a shot, Al driving and drawing the foul, anything like that. I uh, just think the more that one person can bring and defenses have the key in on more things, that the harder it is for them. Well, I think uh, just me being the scorer is going to open open up a lot for my, my teammates like Jawan, Devontae, just open up driving lanes. And also, they're going to open up shots for me just to be able to, with the, with the games they have, it's going to open up shots for me too. But just uh, me being a scorer is just going to open up a lot for others as well as myself. Jeff? <coughs> Hey, Romeo, in practice, when you have to guard Juwan or, or maybe you've seen other guys have to guard against him, what are like two or three things that really stand out that you say, okay, this guy's really good at A, B, C? Uh, really, he's he's probably one of the strongest people I, I know. I went against him. He may not look like it, but he's he's uh, real strong. So just his physicality and then his his ability just to uh, to make broken plays look good, if that makes sense. I don't know, I don't know if that makes sense or not, but – just his ability to just just to make Brooklyn Lakes look good, and um, also um, his ability just to drive drive at his at his size and kick. Um, really, his passing ability is probably one of his one of his best um, aspects to his game is his passing. So those two things. <coughs> Jawan, you had some success last year playing at the center position, a small ball lineup, a little bit. Have you been practicing that a lot this off season? And do you think that's something you, a lineup you kind of guys kind of excel at? Um, I think at times you know, we excel a lot at it, especially when teams want to play fast. We're able to get up and down. And I wouldn't say I practiced at it. I think it was just something that just once Deron went out, we we kind of had to do it. And when you have to do something, you you find a way to do it. And I um, I just think that's what it was. And uh, whatever position I'm put in to have to do, I'll do it. Romeo, coach said it wasn't really about scoring 25 a night for you. It'll be more about winning games here in Bloomington. Is that easy for you to embrace, especially coming from you know high school where you had to score a bunch of points in order to win? Yeah, it's, it's, that's always been my mentality. I mean, I mean, I had to I had to score po uh, points like that. But when I didn't score that many points, as long as we won, that's that's all that matters to me. It's not really about uh, my individual performances. I know if I have a bad game, I'm gonna be mad, but. Really, all, all when it comes down, all it boils down to is uh, getting a win. So, any more questions for these guys? Right here. Uh, Roma, you of course are a long-awaited prospect here at Indiana. What are your expectations for that first fan experience when you go out there on Saturday? Uh. Um, yeah, I really don't know what to expect. I mean, I expect a lot of people to be there, but uh, I don't. I'm really not going to know until the, d the day of. Juwan, could you tell us who of the guys coming back has impressed you most this summer, based on their work ethic and how hard they or how much they've improved? And at the same time, of the freshmen outside of Romeo, who's impressed you the most? Out of the returners, um, 
I would say Al, Devontae, um, Justin's just become more confident in his game, but I would say Al and Devontae for sure, just because Al is a lot more confident in his game and he's added so many uh, aspects to his game. And then Devontae has just become more under control and not trying to make home run plays, but making more singles uh, than he has before. Then of uh, the freshmen, mm, I would say Rob is, uh, has impressed me the most just um, from his ability to read the game, especially adjusting to the pace of the game. He just pretty much got it as soon as he came in. And I, I think he'll get like more of the reads and terminology as we go on to say with all of them. But I think he's come the most far so far. Anything else for these guys? All right, thank you.